what was supposed to be a casual reunion of former teammates who had not seen each other over years is now an annual event to honor and assist those who have made contributions to cricket both on and off the field. Committee member and former West Indies U team captain Colin Murray explains how it came about. It really started as a line. Yeah. And then once we, we got that going, then people started to say, but you know, I didn't see so-and-so, and I didn't see so-and-so. And then you hear, well, boy, you're not too well. And we found that nobody was doing anything to really help some of these past cricketers. So we got more serious and formed ourselves into the past cricketer society of Trinidad and Tobago, where we got donations, we ourselves contribute um, to the fund. And we, we then started to, to help not only guys who needed help in terms of ailing, but guys who had problems with their homes. You know, somebody may needed something refurbished because and, and couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. So so we, we, we do things like that. And then more importantly, we honor people who have served cricket in Trinidad and Tobago for many years, not only in the field of play, but off the field in terms of umpiring, in terms of administration. The event sees persons from across the Twin Islands gathering to eat, drink, and reminisce about their glory days for school, club, zone, and country. This year's event will take place on Saturday. The cricket lovers are invited to come out and interact with the former players and enjoy the festivities. The feature of the day's festivities is the honoring of deserving individuals like Salandi Sobers of Tobago and umpire Desi Ferreira, among some other well-known names. But um, this year, we are honoring, as we're going up in the east, up in the velodrome, we're going to be honoring Sheldon Gomes. He's, he's, he's a, Rima, a Rima kid, like, like a Hollywood Toria kind of thing. Um, we have Bernard Julian, Vernon Swift, who is an a, a, a administrator from the south side. Yeah.